he threatened my life and uh, put his hands on me. But I knew that I had to have stability for my children. So I couldn't just leave on, on a whim even though I was uh, afraid. I was finally able to get out. And it was really at the point where I kind of always had two bags ready. We stayed a couple nights in an RV, in an RV park. I have a big cargo van, so me and my son slept in there. We stayed at a couple motels that were motels, and I was pretty desperate. I was hoping to give my children what they deserve, and uh, I felt pretty ashamed even though I hadn't done anything wrong. It was difficult to ask for help. Uh, community action, so once I had contacted them, they, they gave me vouchers to stay at. It was a motel at first that we stayed at, and then it was at the Days Inn after that. And the Days Inn, it was like, it was wonderful. They, uh, and my two little boys are, <laughs> they're loud and they're, you know, running around. And it was, pro it was more than five weeks, six weeks, maybe even more that these programs that contribute to community action, time, money, energy. They continue to pay week after week for our housing at a hotel. And I, I remember after the second week saying to Susan, no, I can't. This is amazing. Somebody's paying for me and my boys to be okay and giving us stability. Like, it felt wrong. Like, you know, this is a large amount of money in my mind and people are taking care of me. Why would, why, wh this can't continue on. Um, it was so unbelievable to me to be showered with that kind of care. We have a home now. <laughs> I live in a fourplex and it's two bedrooms, and the boys have their own room. Uh, Goodwill actually gave us three beds, brand new. The boys each have their own twin bed. They're sort of big rooms, which is awesome. Um, I have my own room, my own bed, and um, it's funny how you see those as like really big, awesome things when you fall on hard times, but they, they really are. Community action was my saving grace.